So friends, without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our special guest, Attorney Joaquin Jude Montañola Chipeco Jr. Mr. President, Arnold Murphy, our Executive Director, Jerry Moody, to our Business Director, Chris Lina. Thank you for that very uh, memorized uh, introduction. correction to put on. I have five children. The other one died, my third son. So, parang kinagalang magiging ko po ang personal notes. Of course, may I greet also my friends here, Mr. Benigno Lorenzo, our estate uh, director of Conway, Mr. Novo Suzuki, our vice president for our tech. Eh, sa panay may ari po nung lupa na <laughs> kay Miguel Yan, I was supposed to be the company of my wife. And, of course, Mr. John Gallo, the estate management, Mr. Conway, and also Mr. Manisel Sumaya, our HR manager, our architect, and uh, also um, to all the parents present here this morning, to our graduates, other guests, ladies and gentlemen, mga minamat at mga kapayas. Magandang umaga po. Before I uh, begin my formal message to our graduates, I was talking with your president and about my experiences when I was your mayor uh, in the year 2004. And actually, we were invited to the way 25 on Kilang and Yale Talaga because I cannot help but tell this kind of story after seeing the graduates here. So proud to be in front of their friends and everybody. Kasi nga, ito ay isang maga, isang araw na tapos talaga ang kahit kailan man ay hindi katalimutan ang ating mga mga When I was first elected as your mayor, maraming kong salamat sa lahat ang bumoto sa akin ng panahonso. Eh ang isang pong problema namin noon ay kung paano ano ba ang gagawin ng siyudad ng kalampan sa ating dating munisipyo. So pagkat meron po tayo ang dating mga munisipyo, hindi po ba? Nagpatayo po uh, yung mayor noon, si Mayor Laharan, sa bagong munisipyo. Maganda, napakalaki, hindi po ba? Pinagmamalaki po natin lahat. So ako nang tanong po sa akin ni Mayor, ano po ba ang gagawin natin dito sa um, munisipyo natin luma? Kaya sayang nang dinaman ito. Eh, sabi nung iba, kaputi pa kayo, wala ka naman tayo yung museo, yung museo. Gawin na lang natin isang museo. Eh, sabi ko, sino ilalagay natin yan sa museo? Uri mga senior citizen na kaibigan ko. <laughs> Ako naman. So pagkat, alam ko, napakaraming... Napakaraming bagay na pwede ilagay sa ating museo in case we have one sapagkat so, dito po naman na ang daki ng bayani si Gato Seri Sara. So kung pag-aaralan po natin eh, kung ano ilalagay na, pakaraming po pwede ilagay. Pero I insisted, sabi ko sa aking palagay, kung ako lang po ang masusunod, higyan natin ang pagkakakot, why don't we put up a college on this old municipio? Di ba? And this morning, it brings back, back to me my memory. Kasi alam niyo po, I decided, sabi ko, gawin natin City College Challenge para doon talaga mga mahihirap, na hindi man lamang makakatapak sa kolehyo. Sabagat hindi kaya magpagpala ng mga magulang, ito ang bigyan natin ng nakataon para kahit pa paano makatapos po sila ng edukasyon. Ng college, di po ba? Because the greatest gift can give to their children is education. And this is what Dual Tech is doing. I'm so proud it is in my district. And then, I'm going to talk to you about the political historian. I remember the first 
commencement exercises nung tinatawag na po yung mga graduates, kasama ang magulang, kasama po yung nanay. Eh, Siyempre, bilang po ang chairman, po ang mayor, nandun din ako para kamayan. Hindi po ba ang mga ating graduates? And that was the first time. Ang hindi ko po makalimutan, sa totoo lamang, ay yung unang-una po mga graduates, ay pagkakatapos mabigyan ng diploma, yapos yung anak, at ang nangyayari po naman, yung nanay, ako po ang niyaya po, nagpapasalamat po sa pagkatansari sa akin, mayor, kung wala po ito, hindi makakarating ang aking anak para tumanggap na narito ang diploma. Kaya, salamat po, maraming salamat sa amin po sa akin. Yung iba po mga, pardon me, ibang nagtataka, ano ba ang sigreto niya si Chipeco sa politika at bakit niya palagi hindi ka man? nakakatsamba, ano? Eh, sabi ko, wala naman sikreto eh. Ibigay natin sa ating mga anak ang dapat ibigay na sa magulang. Yan ang sikreto. Eh, hindi kayo maaaring makalimutan hapang panahon. Yan ang ginagawa ng duwag. Hindi ko ba? Parents? Kaya graduates, please, a standing ovation for your parents, please. To the officers and members of the dual deck, please give them another standing ovation. Thank you so much, Mr. Amalda. Salamat po. I also would like to greet Mr. Santos in case he arrives. Santos is our chairman of dual deck. And also, other guests who might be coming later on this. First of all, let me congratulate Dualtech, its officers and staff on its 35th year of its foundation. I was a provincial board member when Dualtech was founded in the year 1982. When Dualtech was founded in 1991 here in Carmel Ray, Tadubang, it was my first term as a congressman for the second district of the province of Tadubang. I am aware that dual tech pioneered the dual training system, DTS law, or the Public Act 7686 that was enacted in the year 1994. This training modality that was patterned in the European country, particularly in Germany, was adopted by Duotech even before the Republic Act. By the way, Mr. President, for your information, Calamba City has a sisterhood agreement between Calamba City and William Spirit in Germany. What is William Spirit? During my time, I situate that we have this sisterhood agreement because William Spirit, mga minaman ng kababayan, is where the son is staying when he studied doon po on Aramagin October's list. So we signed, we went there, we went to Germany. And that is why we have a sisterhood agreement with William Spirit in Germany. Ang sabi po sa akin ng mayor doon on that time, when we made our responses to our messages, in case we will be needing nurses, doctors and technical people, mayor, may, my brother, let me know. Send them to Germany in Williamsville. Baka sakali, magkapalitan po tayo ng trabaho. Hindi po natin natitigyan yung puntos na yun, Mr. President. Perhaps it's now time to revive that agreement between Williamsville and Calamba City. Okay? So after more than 20 years of its enactment and after 35 years of dual tech, the system was a success. I'm proud that I'm one of the proponents of the law and even more proud because dual tech is in the second district of the province of Laguna, which I represent. Catering not only to our district, but to the entire archipelago. Now, let me address the parents. Mga mga na mahal natin magulang. Bilang isang magulang na katulad ninyo, alam ko po ang inyong nararamdaman 
sa mga oras na ito. Kagaya ninyo, meron dito po mga anak na nagsisikap po. O tapos na na. Alam ko po ang pagalitan ninyo kung gaano kayo kasaya sa mga oras na ito. Sapagat ang lahat po ng sakasakripisyo at paghihirap ninyo ay nagbubunga na. Alam po naman natin na hindi lahat ng kapataan ay nabibigyan ng oportunidad na matulad nito. Lalo tigit na bukas sa mga lawa, halos lahat sa kabila ay may trabaho na agad. Lahat po na ito ay dahil sa inyong pagpupunyaki at kita-kita po po sa inyong mga wiki, inyo ang kasiyahan. Kaya naman, mga anak, ulit ito po kanina, palakpakan po natin ang ating mga mga. So, to do what take partners. I know that the success of the one system depends on the cooperation of Global Tech with its partner companies. Without the partner companies, the virtue of actual working will not be experienced by our country. May we continuously support the mission of Global Tech for the benefit of the greater good. Recently here in Calamba, we have revived the Calamba City Business Club. A business club is a must. It's a necessary call for all of our partners in business. Aside from advocating economical, environmental, and social concerns, or CSR, that is our priority in the Calamba City Business Club. That is why companies partnering with NGOs like Dual Tech contributes to our country's inclusive growth. As a matter of fact, my office, together with the Kalamba City Business Club, as its main project, will celebrate Christmas with the poorest of the poor children of Kalamba. If you are doing business here in Kalamba, Mr. Suzuki, please join us in that Christmas party for the poorest children of Kalamba. To my graduates, to our dear graduates, just like any graduation, this is not the end, but it's just the beginning. Continue learning to help your parents. Be the best technician or a worker that you can be in your company. Alamuninyo, before I enter politics, I'm still a young man. Ang aking unang trabaho po ay ako'y naging personal manager ng Philippine Doing Mills. That is the biggest steel company that time. Kaya siguro po niya po nakuha yung tinatawag na pakikitungo. Pakikilahok sa naman po ng ating mga masa. Ang mga nagtatrabaho na talaga po namang, alam niyo po lang, bilang isang steel company. Ang trabaho po doon talaga kayo na kayo, malakas ang katawan niyo. Kalimitan po mga high school graduate. Eh, ako po yung trabaho po po. Kung po paano itinuhin sila. Kung ano yung mga pakiusap, yung mga problema. Kaya po siguro, yun na naging background ko. That's why, sa tingin ko po lamang, sa isang uh, kasama ko sa katrabaho, alam ko na po, okay na. Hindi po ba? You have to study psychology. You have to study so many things. And as you know, nasasanay na po kayo. Sa tingin ko lamang, hindi po naman sa pag-iayabang, alam ko na po ang problema. <laughs> that is the why it's important. Kaya pa lamang, you develop your progress. You develop your presentation. Kaya meron po akong ginawa rito sa mga acronym. Sa inyo kapaitulutan, basahin ko po as a parting message to our dear graduates. Ito po eh, after my family name, siya ko. For letter C, courage, katamakan, o lakas nito. For letter H, honesty. For letter I, integrity. For letter P, perseverance. Na kailangan magsaga po tayo. For letter E, empathy. Na kailangan ilagay niyo po naman yung sarili niyo kung sa katatayo at itong kaharap niyo po sa inyo para magkaintindihan sa tayo. Let us see, courtesy. Malagi po tayo, very courteous. Malagi po tayo magiging magana. And letter O, 
tayo po yung obedience sa pag tayo ni Masunod. I'm sure you have learned all the sticks here. At uh, be a God said the person as millennials, remember, you have to be holy all the time. Be the presence of, of God, G, God inside. Kaya, pwede po ba? Talaga naman pawi kayo, lalo kayo maging pawi sa sinasabi ko. And lastly, to do what they, let us study how we can help one another. My office is with to support your school and its mission in the ways that are possible. Perhaps a scholarship, perhaps to other technical education, education programs here in our district. I've already mentioned this matter so many times to my good friend Chris, and let's now on the stage with your permission to perhaps again together we can do something so much to Finally, I am very thankful for the invitation this morning. I have been your congressman for so long. You have given me the mandate every time I sit my office for congressman. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Because, my friends, this is my sixth turn as your Congress. Look at the records in Congress. I'm, we're just a few who are able to be elected for so many Congresses. One is seven, and the rest are six. So, Merry Christmas. Thank you.